Copilot Spaces lets you create context hubs in a workspace that you can share with others. By controlling what the coding assistant sees, you get more relevant suggestions and fewer off-target responses. Let's take a look at how that works. To get to it, you go to github.com slash copilot slash spaces. I'm going to go ahead and create a new space. We can do that right here. And I'll sort of this as React projects. I'll set myself as the owner and then give this a description. Here, I'm going to add some instructions that I want the context to take into account when working with React projects. One of the challenges with combining Tailwind CSS with React is that the installation needs to be very specific. If you look at the framework guides in Tailwind CSS, you'll notice that for V, you want to use this process right here. Let's try giving it a URL and see if it picks us up. Now I wanted to use UWOT Sans as the default font. So I'm going to come over here and I'll tell it to use this embed code. And I'm going to copy this right here. So I'm going to ask for it to use React 19 and I'm going to ask it to follow these guidelines. Now if I want to, I can also attach additional context. So potentially this could be for things that you do in your own company. Perhaps you have some coding style guides or something you want to keep consistent. You would add this as a data file. And that's great because a lot of tools will just read the context from your existing code repos. This is a little bit better in that you can specify more than just what's in your code. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And I'm going to start by asking it what its understanding of project settings are. Notice that the default model here is 4.1, but since we have access to all these other models, you can also add any other model that you enjoy using. But you can attach additional context, including screenshots or files for an individual question. Now, this will be our first conversation. Notice that if I hit edit, I can edit all of my project previous instructions. And this is going to be pretty important. So I'll give it a star here. Let's take a look at the response and it's been pretty accurate in how it understands the context of what I'm trying to do. It even suggested that I could create a starter template for this setup. So that sounds great to me. Let's check it out. It starts creating the files necessary for a typical React project. And it looks like I can download these files or copy the individual code. I can see the config file for V is set up as well as this post CSS config. The Tailwind CSS config looks pretty good. And over here on the left, you can see all of the different files. I can scroll to see all these files that I've created. So it looks like I can download all these files together. Let's see if we can create the repo that way. All right, so here's my folder with the React template. And it looks like all the files are there. Let's go ahead and see how well it did at generating this code. I can see that it did load up React 19 here and V as well as Tailwind CSS. So let's go ahead and do npm install. I'll do npm run dev next. All right, let's see what it did. And it looks pretty good. Looks like it did install everything that I asked it to. Now it is giving me some errors about CJS node API is deprecated. I'll go ahead and ask Copilot to see if it knows what to do. Maybe it's something that I can add to my instructions. I'm going to go ahead and switch this into a gentink mode and ask it if it can fix this. Let's go ahead and try running the run dev command again. And sure enough, I don't get that message anymore. We'll take a look at our project. It still looks great. Let's open up a new terminal here. We'll have to do a git init to get things going. Let's add and commit all these files so that we're ready to upload this to a repo. Cool. Let's go ahead and now create a repo for this and push the content from my local repository onto GitHub. All right, let's go to GitHub and check this out. Sweet. And it looks like it pushed just fine and I have a great template. Let's go ahead and set this up as a template. And now I have something that I can start my projects with. So I want to make sure that I add this additional command to use this type of module so that I don't get this error again. Here on the left, I can see the additional conversations. I'll rename this to React Project Template. We'll hit update here. And I'll go ahead and add some instructions here to hopefully correct that error in the future. Let's tell it that I want to do that. And it added that type module into my project. That is actually pretty helpful. Around the sidebar, this becomes part of the conversation that you have with the regular GitHub Copilot chatbot. 
Now I can go back to spaces and you can see the React project is in there. And you've got a space to create your own personal instructions so that you can define how you work with code. This will only impact any things that you're creating for yourself. This way, your AI is going to have a clearer picture of what you're building. So it's a much better way to provide context for all your tasks.